It gives us a lot of confidence going into UNC, especially since Clemson and UNC play a lot. They play a lot of long balls and get a lot of numbers in the attack. So knowing that we could tie a team that's ranked gives us a lot more confidence for going into UNC. Every every loss is a bad loss, and every every tie is a, a bad tie, really, because you always want to win a game. But uh, looking at the game this past weekend, you know Cle Clemson's a very very good team, and they're going to win a ton of games. Um, you know, so if there was such a thing as a good tie, it would have been against a ranked opponent. You know, last year we also uh, tied against Notre Dame and Florida State. So um, that that's all good, but you, you have to couple that with some wins. Um, and wins, any points in the ACC are good points, um, but obviously we've got to pick up a couple of wins. Well, obviously we're going down to North Carolina to play against UNC. Uh, I believe they're number four in the country or something like that right now. Uh, the, the key for playing against, not, uh, against UNC is really dealing with their system and their pressure. They play a 3-4-3, three, three. everyone around the country knows it. Uh, they know the strengths of that system, they know the weaknesses of that system. Uh, it's really, can you exploit the weaknesses of that system? And it's very difficult to do. Uh, obviously, Coach Dorrance is a fantastic coach. He's got a ton of experience, as, have, as does his staff. Uh, they have national team players in just about every position. And when they sub a player off, they're bringing on a national team player. So um, you really got to have a, a focused 90 minutes from your team. And that's what I'm really hoping for this week.